All right, welcome back to the breaking. It's now time to talk about uh, the big story of the day and mm -hmm. of the week, and we are talking about 47.5 million Kenyans. Uh, the estimate is that uh, is uh, 40. What do you call it? 47.5. The total up to population. 47.6 uh, million people. I just want us to take a look at uh, some of the graphics that uh, we have prepared in as far as uh, the uh, total tally is concerned. As soon as we get that, to we'll be sure to look at them. Uh, but uh, there's a story on the front page of the Standard saying that uh, since a shock for big tribes, the numbers debunk midst of ethnic blocks sparking protest among politicians. Page 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, oh, 8 and 10 uh, that are giving details about all this. So you'll be sure to look at that and see uh, that uh, the population by region will be looking at that also. But first of all, I, want, I just want to take a, a, a quick um, comment on what do you think, in as far as, uh, Commissioner, mm -hmm. when you look at these results, yeah. of course there were um, varied expectations. People were saying that we might hit 50 million, now we're at 47.6. There are people who are saying that there could have been errors in how this was done. Do you believe in, a, in the authenticity of this data? Is it all inclusive that every Kenyan has been counted? Uh, my take is that uh, the census was done and we have the results at 47.6 million. Mm -hmm. Could be right. Uh, I can actually see that uh, at page uh, 5 of the nation that there are people also called intersex at 1,524. Mm -hmm. Could be right. Mm -hmm. uh, and the estimate is not far from the 50 million that Kenyans were expecting. Mm -hmm. uh, so. Uh, uh, I think on a balance of probabilities, okay. uh, the data could just be a bit accurate, okay. not far from it. Okay, let's take a look at uh, those slides of uh, what the numbers are. And we begin with the total population uh, that uh, we know now Kenyans, uh, we don't have that. Um, 47.6 million people uh, having risen from 38.6 million in uh, 2009. So that's an increment of about 10 million. 9 million people over 10 years, of course, taking care of uh, births and deaths. Uh, then um, the next one uh, talks about um, the regions. So you have uh, the Rift Valley uh, region has uh, 12.7 million people having risen from 10 million in 2007, a growth of 2.7. The Eastern region has risen from 6.8 million uh, to 6.8 from 5.6 million in 2009. Nyanza region having risen by about 800 to 6.2 and uh, Central Kenya having risen by 1.1 million people uh, to reach 5.4 million. The next, the other regions you can mm -hmm. take a look. Mm -hmm. Let's take a look at them. They're coming up on your screens right now. This is in regards to comparison of 2019 and 2009, 10 years after. Western um, went up 5 million. Um, Nairobi has also gone up from 3.1 to 4.3 standing. Coast 4.3 up from the current, from its previous 3.4 million in 2009. Northeastern also standing at about 2.59 million, a small increase there from its previous 2.3 million, mm -hmm. 2.49 million. Mm -hmm. A very marginal uh, increment. We'll be talking about that and why. There are some counties that have really gained over time, and Nairobi County is one of them, hitting 4.3 million people. Uh, that's an increment of about 1.2 from 3.1 million in 2009. Kiambu County has also risen by nearly, actually more than 800,000 people to hit 2.4 million. I don't know if it's because of uh, people migrating to that area. It's because of uh, bats. Mm -hmm. Nakuru County uh, hitting 2.4 uh, from 1.6 million people in 2009. Kajado is shocking, an increment of um, uh, nearly, actually more than 500 people to hit 1.1 million. I don't mm -hmm. know whether, mm -hmm. again, it's about birth, it's just about migration and people residing there. Mm -hmm. Those are the biggest gainers. Let's continue. Kilifi, as you can see in 2009, had only about 1.1. Right now it's standing at 1.45 million. Machakos has also gone up all the way to 1.4 million currently. Narrow County now is standing at 1.5 million from its previous 850,000. Mombasa, which was previously about 900 and 39,000 in 2009 is now standing at 1.2 million in 2019. Mm -hmm. But interesting enough, there are certain counties that have lost numbers over 10 years and uh, mm -hmm. Mandera County is one of those that has uh, dropped by 158,299 now to stand at 867,000. So I do not know what has happened. Have people lost their lives or is it that the calculations have gotten more accurate? Mm -hmm. Lamo County? Lamo County. Let's uh, take a look at this. 
Liz Kane Astrakanidi now is standing at about um, 339,000, um, again by 27, Nyamira again by 7,000, Vihiga again by 35,000, now standing at 590,000, Nyandarwa has gone up also by about 42,000, currently standing at 638,000. Mm -hmm. All right, of course, uh, there's another slide that we had there uh, that talks about uh, Lamu County having also lost about 47,000 uh, in uh, people uh, in as far as the census is concerned. So I want to begin with you because you come from the region that is northeastern. What could have happened? What would have gone wrong or right in Mandera County that now we see a decline by 158,000 people in 10 years' time? Is it normal? <laughs> Um, first, some uh, this result was just released yesterday, mm -hmm. and I hope we'll have the opportunity now to mm -hmm. analyze it sub county by sub county and uh, check what really happened. Mm -hmm. Because uh, it's not only in Odistan, but I also saw <coughs> Tarakanidi, Meru also complaining. Mm -hmm. uh, I think there is something wrong, so we just need to know what is that because really. When you say uh, no, this time now, they're telling the men are more than the the women. Yes. As women report, is it? You what see. is it on the ground? Is it the um, more children are dying? Is it the women? Is it the urban and rural migration? Is it because most of them are pastoralists? What is on the ground? Yeah, they are pastoralists, but also you know the maternal uh, mortality, maternal deaths <laughs> is all, can also be a reason. But again, I think um, there must be they, they were not really. Uh, counted well. Really? And, yeah, that's what I really think. Because, because, what, what happened uh, during that time, 24th <coughs> up to 31st of August? Because, um, you know, really our people are pastoralists. In that time, uh, it was uh, the time that people migrated from one point to another for, for searching for pasture. Mm -hmm. So that can be also a reason. So, so, so let me also, ask you, Fatma Gedi. Yeah. Uh, so you're saying that uh, some of them might have migrated during uh, this time of uh, census. Yeah. They didn't do so in 2009? They did. So they did, and there was a that? proper time for mobilization. You know, this time it was too short, really. And you also, it's the season, you know, when there is rain, it like now, August, like now, if the census could have happened now in Northeastern, everybody's there. As women, I want to People believe that you're in touch with the pulse. Eastern, even to Eastern part of the... As women, I want to believe you're in touch with the pulse of the community. Yeah. So from where you stand, is it, is it the, the deaths that you talked about earlier? The infant deaths is it the issue of uh, immigration if it's the case should we have had more enumerators compared to the number that was there what is the case on the you know, ground i said maybe but also okay. our areas is different from here mm -hmm. all right like let's say a kembu an example you can do the you know you can count the people in one week going around mm -hmm. you know <laughs> our place really you know geographically yeah, it is bad the roads are bad it yeah. is Co completely it's terrible. Okay. You cannot do it in one month and finish it. And I believe there's some people who are not yet counted oh, because right. of the, 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 the right. challenges. We'll, we'll be airing your concerns yeah. to the Kenya National yeah. Bureau of Statistics. Yeah. But uh, Hona Bogashagwa, we see um, there, there are some shifts in central Kenya, but when you look at the totality of it and you try to do some analysis on how much of impact the population you have, especially on boundaries, you don't see a lot of changes that may come. I mean, what is your first response or reaction well, uh, to the numbers that you see? Well, our position was before the census uh, that uh, we needed to go biometric, and I still take that position. Mm -hmm. If you look at these results, Nyamira, we are being told that uh, in 10 years, the increase is 7,000 people. Mm -hmm. That's incredible. It cannot be. If you have been to Nyamira, because we go around this country mm -hmm. and you look at the population the way it is. Right. Somebody telling you that uh, over a 10-year period there has only been 7,000 increase, that is not credible. So what when you mean? look at Mandera, uh -huh. you know in 2009 there were serious concerns that numbers had been inflated. You remember there was a court case. And we felt that the numbers in those areas had been inflated. Mm -hmm. I think there has been, that reduction is a bit of accuracy, a little accuracy that the numbers are coming down the way they should be down. Mm -hmm. And uh, if you look at Tarakanithi, they are saying that uh, only 27,000 right. people increased over a period of uh, 10 years. In my view, and when I talk to many people, uh, there is lack of accuracy. In my constituency, we are mm -hmm. told we are 160,000 people. And I dispute uh, very strongly. You think you're from, more or less? Oh, we are more in the sense that, to start with, mm -hmm. The last election were 100,000 people. 100,000, yeah, voters. Huh? Mm -hmm. 
in the primary schools, uh, started the one to eight, mm -hmm. we have 52,000. That makes 152. Uh -huh. In the day secondary schools that are inhabited by the people of my constituency, we have another 24,000. Mm -hmm. We still have kids in ECDs. Mm -hmm. And when I go around, mothers are carrying babies everywhere. Mm -hmm. So when I, I, I simple arithmetic, uh, from where I sit, mm -hmm. because I know my constituency is like the back of my hand. Mm -hmm. We are not less than 200,000 people. And we are told we are 160,000. And that is why we had say, let's go biometric. Mm -hmm. Let's uh, do what we do during the voter population. And if you look, uh, mm -hmm. Sam, mm -hmm. I have a problem. That I'm told that the people of Wajia are more than the people of Nyeri. Yeah? Wajia County or? Wajia County, uh -huh. the whole of it. Eh? Mm -hmm. I have worked there as a district officer. Mm -hmm. I, I, I know the place and I, I go even walking around there. Eh? Mm -hmm. But when we go biometric, mm -hmm. the 750,000 people of Nyeri, when we go biometric, we do 498,000 <laughs> So it's not adding up to you how 780,000. Yeah. Okay. When, when we go biometric, yeah. the people of Nyeri right. will do 498,000. Mm -hmm. The people of Wajia, when they go biometric mm -hmm. from the 800,000, mm -hmm. they will do 162. You know, w when you look at it, when you look at it, eh? But, 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 but don't, but don't you think... No, just a minute, let me finish, madam. I know, you you I know your argument. What I'm saying no. is, <laughs> what I'm saying is, eh? <laughs> Ordinarily, right. the voter registration is on the lowest 40%, mm -hmm. on the highest 60%. Mm -hmm. If you look at Wajia, Mandera, Trukana, it is 18%, it's 19%, it's 20%. If, if you compare the population, again, it's a voter the voter uh, registration mm -hmm. and the voter registration is biometric yeah but, but is, is that fair yeah. honorable question is that yes, fair yes, yes. because obviously when you talk about um, mm. political awareness it, it it may vary depending on regions you know mm. especially for regions that produce a presidential candidate yes. the political awareness is obviously Sam, different. Can I say is this? it fair to compare the number of voters at the there's, number there's, of uh, the, the awareness for census and the one for voter registration is at par no no no, no. it's, so a, same, it's the same exercise strong, yeah. in so fact Sam. in fact the voter aware the yeah. awareness on census is even more critical because Sam, it's about resources some Sam, Sam allow us to it's, okay. it's, it's more go, critical Sam, can I say this? Uh -huh. I just find it so very interesting that my colleague, when he's talking about Mandera, mm -hmm. he says that what is indicated for Mandera it's in true. 2019 <laughs> is accurate. <laughs> But when it comes to discussing the central region, yeah. what is indicated for Tara, uh, Tarakanidi is wrong. No, what this simply he means he <laughs> is that <laughs> I talked about Nyamira. Nyamira. No, Nyamira. I, don't come, I don't come from Nyamira. No, no, no. Okay. Okay. What, what this actually means and what it implies is that we've put so much emphasis on population for our various People. needs. Mm -hmm. We now know that if you are highly populated, that means we tie to election. Okay? Mm -hmm. That means the top seat. If you are highly populated, that means in terms of resources, economic resources, you're also going to benefit. That is now what seems to be driving all the debate that you're seeing now. Mm -hmm. I want to say that for some reason, I want to believe in this census. Okay. You have in no the past, questions in no, as far I might have questions, but concerned. I want to believe that by and large, mm -hmm. it's reflecting the true picture of the country. <laughs> in the past, we've had issues and people have complained. People have even gone to court, like my colleague has said. In the last census of 2009, it was believed that, was it five or seven counties that had their figures... Uh, uh, yes, doctored. Mm -hmm. Okay? And because the reason why they were thought to be doctored, is they, they, they seem to have really grown in a manner that was just not possible, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. And the figures that were uh, reported on paper seem to have been too much compared to what the reality on the ground was, right. okay? So there must be a time when Kenyans, like everybody else, can say that we want to right all the wrongs in the past. And I think that the effort that was put in this census True that we did not go biometric, but the effort that was put in this census, just even by going digital, and the questions that were being asked, was to try and correct all those wrongs in the past. All right. Okay? So, my dear friend, <laughs> I know that you know your, the, your constituency like the back of your hand. Mm -hmm. There are so many other issues that might determine whether a population 
has a, a, big, a, a high growth or a negative growth. And I do not think that you can say that in terms of voters, we have 10 voters uh, uh, as opposed to Wajir that has five registered voters and so our population should be more. Mm -hmm. I do not think that is right. There might be reasons like a population might be younger than 18 years and yet we know in terms of voting you can only vote if you're above 18 years. Mm -hmm. Like you've rightfully also said, it might be that a certain community is just more aware Mm -hmm. more politically inclined than another, so they register more. Okay. You know, you cannot say that we have more registered voters, so our population should be high. Mm -hmm. That would not be a, a true measure. All right. All right. Uh, Sam, I also wish to tell my friend here <laughs> that <laughs> has, <It's a> sneer. <laughs> before, yeah, 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 before now he, you know, uh, appreciates on some, you know, reduction and on some increase, you know, really. Uh -huh. uh, for me, I think you're being, you're, you're being selfish. And uh, you need to visit and know where first where Mandera is. That is when you will really understand the real issues and you will appreciate those people. Mm -hmm. Secondly, um, at the age, the age at which the, the people or the students from Mount Kenya mm -hmm. get ID is mm -hmm. different from where our people get ID. Mm -hmm. For an example, we have a backlog of IDs in, in that region right now. Compared to, to Nyeri, where students, when they finish, before even they finish school, they're being given ID. So there is a proper first marginalization on those areas. Secondly, the, the way I said, our roads are very bad. Mm -hmm. Our areas are vast compared to Nyeri, where yes. you can finish within one day, you can go to Nyeri and finish, and that's a county. Mm -hmm. But in Wajia, a constituency, a one constituency like Wajia South, it is the largest constituency after Nothor. We have a Nothor and Ijara. That one, look at the results. Lamu, has, let, me, let me take an example of Lamu. Lamu has 143,000. 143, that is one sub-county, not sub-county, mm -hmm. sub, uh, sub, sub not even a county. That's a county mm -hmm. compared to one sub-county in Wajia. Mm -hmm. You see? Those are the issues. Let and us, so, let us Gedi, appreciate. Before I get to the former commissioner, so when you look at uh, the, um, the, the negative growth of population, now Mandera losing 158, obviously it will lock against that counting when it comes to resource, resource allocation. I, I would be looking at some of the figures of the numbers that uh, Mandera has been receiving. But then again, how, how do you help such a region that you say the infrastructure is uh, mm -hmm. poor, uh, talk about education levels are still low, yet the resources that will be being shared, even the Commission on Revenue Allocation, the new formula mm -hmm. they're proposing, mm -hmm. still gives a lot of weight to population at about 45 percent. Yeah, that's why what we want is um, let them not only focus on the population, mm -hmm. but let, uh, let yeah. them also look at the geographical yeah. mm -hmm. and let them also use the poverty. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, that place is different from here, really. Mm -hmm. You can't compare that region. So population should not only be a criteria, mm -hmm. but rather also the geographical, you know, the poverty, mm -hmm. also the development. Mm -hmm. Because, really, let us also prioritize on the development. Mm -hmm. So that areas that are undeveloped get you know, uh, resource allocations, mm -hmm. and let us, you know, be at par with other regions. Mm -hmm. All right, I, I yeah. just got the figure you that Mandera County, Mandera County yeah, this year, uh, just hold on, uh, Mandera mm -hmm. County this year got 10.2 uh, billion shillings mm -hmm. uh, in terms of the equitable share. And uh, wh which county do you come from? Baringo. Baringo County. So let me look at uh, Baringo County and how your numbers are faring. That is in the Rift Valley. So uh, uh -huh. Baringo, you have uh, grown by 111 a thousand to stand at 666,000. Uh, actually, it's the only county which is balancing because in uh -huh. 2009 uh -huh. there were 555. Five, five, oh, yes, nine, and six, now six. they are 66. Six. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, I don't know what you've been using uh, to get there. But uh, as you focus on the next conversation, I know we need to take a short break, but uh, as you focus on the next conversation about. Uh, boundaries, yeah. Okay, I'm told that you take a breakfast. Then you'll, then you'll come <laughs> back the with you. Of boundaries, yes. All right, so you can text us your views to 2422 or Twitter at Citizen TV Kenya. Hashtag to use this debris.